welcome to simplefinancesupport.com profitability analysis uh, training specialist today i would like to cover the data structures in uh, cop module so the topics uh, key topics that are going to be covered are like understanding the multi dimensional analysis data flow and uh, operational and analytical reporting operating concern transaction code and data structures uh, technical field limits, uh, definition of elements and uh, generation of operating concern, field catalog, status and what is standard when you are defining the data structure and um, operating concern attributes and currencies, other period dimensions. Data structure uh, pretty much uh, has got multi-dimensional structure, uh, which is you have customers, products, regions, channels, and uh, intercompany and industry. So these are uh, some of the examples of uh, data structure that I'm talking about. When you're defining uh, these elements uh, within the customers, you may have customer groups, customer class, customer types, and product groups, product types, product classes, hierarchy, etc. So there is no limitation of uh, which fields to be used for analysis. So all this multi-dimensional structure is is combined into something called uh, operating concern in SAP. So operating concern is defined with all these elements to represent data flow values. Okay, let's look at uh, what elements are key part of the operating concern. So there is a sales and distribution module the elements from sales and distribution, elements from finance, which means like company code, controlling area, profit centers, segments, and then the production planning, materials management is pretty much defining your product, product attributes. All these are primary source for the data flow as well as definition of your field cat catalog elements. So all this form your operating concern. And uh, the data that is flowing into operating concern will be analyzed for operational and uh, analytical reporting. So operational reporting is for day-to-day -day monitoring of the data which is flowing into a COPA. And uh, when it comes to the analytical reporting, management needs strategic decision-making so for that purpose they need to analyze which products are being sold in which segments or which market segments and which customers need a concentration of uh, market development and then now uh, the operating concern that we define uh, is a kind of a organizational element in uh, sap copa module all data elements such as company code controlling area sales organization plans are under operating concern and new tables get generated whenever you create a operating concern because the fields that you are defining are very specific to the company that you are implementing cope module and then uh, again in some other sessions i would cover like what are the characteristics and value fields and how they are um, defined into the operating concern uh, but um, in this session like let's let's try to understand the operating concern itself and operating concern is like having one single operating concern is a standard so like normally uh, you have an option to have one operating concern for one company code or one operating concern for one controlling area but um, in practice uh, you don't require to have different operating concerns for by legal entity but you can collapse all the data into operating concern that is one of the biggest advantage operating concern gives 
to analyze the data across your business entities. So uh, when you are creating the operating concern, uh, you are using the transaction code KEA0, create or maintain operating concern. And um, it's a four digit alphanumeric number and it shows the status of the operating concern whether it is a green or a red so green indicates that this operating concern is ready to use and uh, red indicates that it is it to be generated any changes in the structure will result in the status becoming red once it is red you cannot operate means you cannot take any sales orders further you cannot post any journals so pretty much your system stops in sap if your operating concern is red whenever you create a, a data structure which is like operating concern system automatically creates some tables uh, with suffix uh, of like operating concern number itself the table names like ce1 ce2 ce3 ce4 and uh, suffix with four digit identifier in sap um, s4 hana the copa structure also is embedded into acdo ca table structure which is a universal journal table so which means like whenever you create an operating concern and also add fields your acdo ca table also gets modified at operating concern level you decide what type of um, analysis that you will do whether it is a costing based and account based i will discuss costing based and account based in detail in further sessions but um, um, at at um, very high level uh, you can say that like there are two types of profitability analysis is possible which is costing based and account based and so also it is a check mark and because of that um, you can see that uh, you can have both types of analysis at the same time if you click on the change the data structure it will take you to the data structure uh, itself here so this is the table for example c1 1000 is a table that is being created when you are adding the fields into the data structure so here the field catalog is a very important aspect a field catalog is the catalog which contains your characteristics list and uh, from that you can use the fields into your operating concern the fields that we are defining in copa which are characteristic fields will appear in the catalog and from the catalog we will pick into operating concern i will show in a demo how to do that so one of the important aspect is that once you save that field with operating concern it's very very difficult to remove it's possible to remove the field uh, technically but it should be avoided and also there is a limitation uh, of uh, number of fields that we require to have like for example technical limitation is 60 of course sap gives uh, uh, fixed fields like 19 apart from these 19 fields there are like a uh, limitation of 60 fields okay um, so that is the way uh, the structure is formed uh, once the structure is formed and you know the data will start flowing once you define uh, all other data flow elements and there are certain other attributes uh, that you can see they are very specific to costing based uh, profitability analysis and particularly the currency types that you can have uh, you can have multiple currencies uh, in costing based analysis uh, key point is here is that like account based analysis uh, doesn't need any currency settings because it will use the current settings from uh, company code itself and um, here um, again uh, it's a normal industry standard is to use company code currency because if the company is operating in more than one country so obviously the company code currency will be different it's always good to have the country uh, company code currency in the costing based copa of course uh, that's not required to be uh, set 
for the account based because the company code currency will automatically default into account based coupon normally the data is stored in uh, uh, proper table analysis by one period at a time which is like one month but if you need additional um, levels of summarization so the summarization can be at a second period time which is like weeks which means like you know every week it will summarize and put the data into um, the tables but uh, it's a very very rarely you use weeks as your uh, summarization so these are the you know critical elements of your operating concern and uh, you know i'm i will go through the uh, demo for this uh, profitable analysis um, operating concern structure please visit uh, for additional videos thank you